In this lesson, we will explore adding and customizing a category template. In the previous lesson, we learned all about the various templates available. And we mentioned that the All Archives template is the default template WordPress uses to display smaller groupings of posts, such as categories, tags, authors, dates, etc. Please note I am using the 2024 default theme. When we scroll down, we will see how the All Archives template is currently structured and how posts within an archive will appear on the front end. When I visit one of my blog posts and click on the relevant category, in this case, Art, I will be able to view all my posts labeled with the Art category. And of course, as you can see, the structure for this page has been dictated by the All Archives template. And as mentioned, all other categories and groupings of archives will display in the same way due to the fact that they've been assigned to the All Archives template. This is where creating a custom category template comes into play. Instead of using the generic archive template, you can design a template that suits your specific needs. Let's see this in action. I'm going to go ahead and add a category template to change the display of posts within the art category. So I will make my way to templates and click on the plus icon or the inserter next to templates. And then I will add a category archives template. Now you have two choices. Firstly, you can create a single template for all your categories, or you may decide to create a template for each specific category. I'm going to select the second option as I want to create a specific template for the art category. Once selected, I will be able to choose a pattern that comes with the 2024 theme, but I'll go ahead and select skip to start blank. Now I can start building my blank template. And the first thing I will add is my new header. A header which I've already created and named art header. Once the unique header has been added to the template, I can click on the three vertical dots and select add after. And now we are going to add the query loop block. And remember the query loop block displays posts. And in this case, it will display all the art posts. Now we can go ahead and select a pattern for how we want the posts to display. And once the pattern has been added, we can modify it even further. So let's go ahead and open up the list view and then look at all the nested blocks within the query loop block. We are after the post template block. When we select the post template block, we will see we have three columns and we can change that to four. But in this example, we will settle for two columns. Next, I want to delete my post excerpt block. So click on one of the posts select the post exit block, click on the three vertical dots and scroll down to the bottom and select delete. Then I will select the group block and add some more padding around the content. So I'll open up my styles, go to padding and add some more padding on the left and right. You are welcome to make further modifications, but for this example, I am done. So the next step is to add a footer. And I am just going to add the general footer that I've used on my other templates as well. Now we can go ahead and see what our art category will look like from the front end. So if we select the relevant category now, namely art, we will see the archives page for the art category with a unique header and modified content layout. And this was of course achieved by adding and changing a category template for a specific item. And if you wanted to go ahead and create a new template for a different category, you can click on the plus icon next to templates, select category archives, and then a category for a specific item. 
and then I can create a unique template for my lifestyle category or for my sports category, for example. I trust you now feel comfortable adding a category template for all categories or a specific category.